Learning focus. In previous lesson, we have learned how to solve problems involving moving object by using the four equations of uniform acceleration. In this lesson, we will discuss ticker tape, including what is ticker tape and how it function. After that, we will discuss how to analyze ticker tape and ticker tape chart. Ticker tape timer. Ticker tape timer is a machine used to measure and analyze the motion of an object. In SBM, there are a few things that you need to know about a ticker tape timer. First, the ticker tape timer must be connected to an alternating current electric source. This is to make the vibrator vibrates. If it is connected to a direct current, it won't work. Second. In most countries, including Malaysia, the frequency of the alternating current is 50 hertz. This makes the ticker tape timer vibrate 50 times per second and make 50 dots on the ticker tape in one second. Analyzing ticker tape one, the motion of the object pulling the ticker tape can be determined from the distribution of the dots on the ticker tape. The closer the dots, the slower the motion, the further apart the dots, the faster the object moved. For example, the dots in the first strip are close to each other, hence the speed of the object is low. The second strip shows that the object moved faster. In the third strip, the dots are further apart indicates that the object moved with highest speed among the three. Analyzing ticker tape 2. Let's study more examples. In first strip, the dots are uniformly distributed. This indicates that the object move at uniform velocity. In second strip, initially the dots are close to each other. The distance between the dots is then increases uniformly. We know that when the distance between the dots increases, the speed of the object also increases. Therefore, from the distributions of the dots, we can tell that the velocity of the object increased over time. In third strip, the distance between the dots decreases over time. This indicates that the velocity of the object decreased over time. The object underwent deceleration. In conclusion, we can study the motion of an object by studying how the dots distributed. The closer the dots, the slower the motion. The further apart the dots, the faster the motion. Ticker tape chart. Ticker tape can be cut into strips of equal time, equal number of ticks, and pasted on a graph paper to form a ticker tape chart. The figure shows a typical ticker tape chart. Each tape consists of 5 ticks, which equivalent to 0.1 second. Velocity of each tape can be found by dividing the length of the tape by the time taken for the motion. The length of the tape representing the velocity. In this case, all the tapes have equal length, showing that the object moves at a uniform velocity. Analyzing ticker tape chart. Let's look at a few more examples. In chart 1, the length of the tapes increases uniformly, denotes that the velocity increases at a uniform rate. The object moved at uniform acceleration. Always keep in mind that the length of the strip represents the speed of the object pulling the ticker tape. In chart 2, the length of the tape does not increase uniformly. At the beginning, the length increases abruptly. However, the increment becomes less and less afterward. Since the length represents the speed, hence we can deduce that the speed of the object keeps on increasing, but the rate of increment decreases over time. This is an example of increasing speed but decreasing acceleration. Chart 3 is just the opposite of chart 2. The speed increased and the acceleration also increased along the motion. This is an example of increasing speed and increasing acceleration. In chart 4, the length of the tapes decreases uniformly, indicates that the velocity decreased at a uniform rate. 
or the object underwent uniform deceleration. In chart five, the speed decreased abruptly at the beginning. However, the rate of decrement decreases over time. This is an example of decreasing deceleration. Chart 6 shows the example of decreasing speed at an increasing rate. In other words, it is an example of increasing deceleration.